morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Derek Carter, and today I want to share something that I stumbled across yesterday. Now, I've seen this one before on YouTube, various interviews. But yesterday, for some reason, it, it spoke to my spirit. This woman's name is Helene Hatzell. Some of you may actually know her as the contest queen. Now, Helene will say she has mastered the art of winning contests. From winning her dream car, various paid for vacations, trips, experiences, winning a dream home. And it all started with her reading a book and practicing on winning a contest for her husband. I bring up Helene today because she says that her method of using this approach of manifesting, if you will, came down to a simple principle. She called this method the SPEC method, S-P-E-C. You see it, project it, expect it, collect it. Now, when I heard it, it made perfect sense. Using my rational mind, you know, it makes logical sense. And then as I sat and I pondered on it for a little while, I went for a walk. And the most interesting thing happened. I realized that what she really shared with us was how we create our reality that we live in. In the past, the present, and the future. It comes down to the simple understanding of ideas, beliefs, and concepts are given to us. We're all quite impressionable, whether we know it or not, whether we realize it or not. The world around us builds and supports these ideas. It's on us to accept them in. We can blame our parents, those that came before us, what have you. But at some point, there is a coming of age where we realize our true power is being able to choose what we desire to believe, what we do and don't want. And that's not to say the next person has to agree because they operate from that same power as well. But going back to the spec method, if we look at that simple idea, it explains a lot. Case in point, I'm on a trail yesterday, minding my business. And walking in the opposite direction or walking towards me as an older gentleman. Now I calculate quickly, okay, we're about to cross paths at a meeting point where another trailhead comes into play. So me and him are on the same trail. He's coming my way. I'm going his way. And at the midpoint of our distance, there's another trail that meets the trail that we're on. So as I'm thinking about the spake method, I said, hmm. Huh, if a deer comes out those bushes, then that will grab his attention. So I saw it in my mind and I projected that out. The most interesting thing happened. As me and this gentleman crossed paths, he didn't walk past me. He veered off into the other trail. We exchanged pleasantries and kept on moving about. When I look back, I realized that that gentleman stopped. And something caught his attention. It wasn't a deer. He stopped, took a few steps back, and on the back of a sign, he began to pay attention to a sign for a lost cat. So I looked forward and kept moving. Within seconds, the most awesome realization came about. You saw it in your mind. You projected it, you expected it to happen, and you collected the information or the feedback, the manifestation. No, he didn't see a deer that caught his attention. But when he went in the direction that I projected the image of the deer in, something still stopped him. Something still caught his attention, and it was a picture of an animal. Now, some may believe that's a reach. You are inclined to believe whatever you would like. 
That's fine. That's what we're here for. My understanding was in that moment, I was shown that this is life. This is reality. This is the universe as we know it. It's not about collective belief. It has nothing to do with collective belief. It's about your own individual reality. So after this moment, I continue to think upon that thought. And I found peace in it. Understanding that by knowing that this is how we create our worlds, the world makes sense to everybody. It really does. You may not agree with what the next person says. You might not agree with what I say. That's okay. But we're operating from the same source. We're using the same energy. Some may use different amounts. It's all creative energy. And to me, that's the beauty of it. So as we reflect back on Helene Hassel's method, the spec method, there's an underlying teaching that cannot be avoided. And that is, we are the universal creators of our microcosm. It's a beautiful existence. It's a beautiful power. These are thoughts to share at this moment. I look forward to speaking to you fellow travelers and sharing more insights and hopefully hearing some insights of yours as well. Until then, be blessed.